But I uh, personally feel that my personal problem is never solved as long as the problem is not solved for all of our people in this country. Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free at last! I swear, I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. Benjamin Banneker was one of the USA's most illustrious but little known African American personalities. He was a genius who rose from very difficult circumstances. With very little formal education, he managed to educate and transform himself into an inventor, astronomer, writer, advocate of human rights, and determined opposer of slavery. Banneker is widely known as an inventor. His family was introduced to a man named Joseph Levi sometime in the 750s. This man had a watch with him. Benjamin was so fascinated with it that he borrowed it from Mr. Levi and started exploring it. Once he figured out how it worked, he wanted to build something like that, but bigger. Realizing he lacked sufficient knowledge, Benjamin turned to where he found solutions for many of his problems, books. He borrowed some books on geometry to learn about shapes and borrowed Sir Isaac Newton's Principia to better understand the laws of motion. Armed with these, he set about building a clock made out of hand carved wood. It took him around two years, but he finally finished building America's first clock in 1753 at age 22. His contributions included a farmer's almanac, which was used to predict weather, tides, eclipses, seasonal changes, and tips for planting crops and home medical remedies. All the information listed in the almanacs were manually calculated and compiled by him. On August 19, 1791, Banneker sent a copy of his first almanac to Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson. In an enclosed letter, he questioned the slaveholder's sincerity as a friend of liberty. He urged Jefferson to help get rid of this absurd and false idea that one race is superior to another. This, sir, was a time when you clearly saw into the injustice of a state of slavery, and in which you had just apprehensions of the horror of its condition. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Sir, how pitiable is it to reflect that you should at the same time be found guilty of that most criminal act which you professedly detested in others with respect to yourselves. He wished Jefferson's sentiments to be the same as his, that one universal father afforded us all the same sensations and endowed us with the same faculties. Jefferson responded with praise for Banneker's accomplishments. Birmingham 1963 is a book about the children's crusade, civil rights protests from children as young as eight years old. The images in this book helped rally the civil rights movement and energize the public, making civil rights a national problem needing a national solution. This book, along with many others African-American titles, is available for checkout at Southland College Prep Media Center.